This should be fun, although I bet it is going to offend some purists. Let's find out how a electric typewriter works. This is a Smith Corona. Appears to be going a little crazy right now. I was able to get it working again. Turns out it was nothing to do with the machine itself. It was a, a loose plug on the end of an extension cord. So, to prove it. Hi YouTube. The mechanics of the machine. The motor in here runs continuously. It has a pair of drive belts that spin a roller with, uh, I guess, a dog leg with some teeth on it. Spin a roller through the middle here. You've also got a flywheel inside there. This is your cartridge, and you have this spool of inked ribbon down inside, and it feeds itself around off of that spindle gear right there. Keyboard layout is about what you'd expect, except uh, across the top here, it lacks, it lacks an exclamation point, it lacks the number one, I don't know why that is, why in the world would it lack the number one? It has one half and one quarter marks. Alright, so it appears that you use lowercase l as number one, which seems very weird to me. But what do I know? I never used these things back in the day. I just thought it'd be fun to see how one of them functions. Let's look at the underside. Here we are from the back side. And so inside there is that uh, rotating drum. And then when I push the key, it allows these. There's, that's the return portion. It's not happy going upside down. Really not happy operating up there. So, when I push the key, I allow it to engage that, which then, of course, kicks it up. And the, the purpose of the electronic typewriter, well, this isn't electronic, sorry, the purpose of the electric typewriter was that it took out the variation in key strength because the old manual ones, it, it depended on which key you were pushing and how hard you, in order to get a uniform mark. So this, it's only the, the pressure of activating a single key, and that is uniform across all of them. There's the bell right there. So here is the take-up spool right here. Ah, look. There's something that's wrong with this one.
not that it matters at this point but this is supposed to be in the center of the wheel there Got your electric motor light to indicate that it's on All right, let's take it apart. I've never taken an electric typewriter apart, so you'll have to bear with me as we sort of figure it out together.
I think this is what most of us wanted to see. This is that uh, kicker bar. It's almost like uh, a planer or a shaper cutter, quite honestly. It's really reasonably sharp. You can see the impact where the keys have hit it. So this thing is always spinning. And then you push down and it catches on one of these spots. And I assume this big gap here is so that they don't just keep skipping. You know, big tink -a tink -a tink -a tink -a tink tink skipping off of this. That big gap allows it to drop down in there. And the marks, the hammer marks, are much more pronounced along this edge here than they are along any of the other edges. So my guess is it catches here more often than it catches out here. But yeah. That's what it looks like. Sure took us a long time to get down in there. But there it is. And there it is, reduced to a pile of mechanical parts on the table. Think of the genius that went into designing this and making it all work in the first place. All these little actuator arms, rods, got a pile of springs over there. More rods. Some of the parts I'm going to save. Keyboard set. Should be looking for something for that. And then this thing is just that's just kind of cool. So I don't know what to do with them yet, but they definitely get saved. Most of the rest of this go on scrap steel. Eventually. Uh, I know the school does an art project every year with mechanical parts, and I think showing up with this could brighten some students' days. So I'll, uh, I'll let them have first crack at all the bits and pieces for their art projects. And yeah, there we go. Nobody wanted it for $5 on the internet. I sure hope you guys got $5 worth of entertainment out of it.
Thanks for watching.